Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a good new year so far. The other day I posted a video of how to make uh, venison sausage balls with the recipe attached to that. Today, uh, as I promised, I'm going to be using some uh, venison hamburger and making some jerky. So I just wanted to share that recipe. And like I said before, my wife's vegan, and um, but she has some awesome... Uh, uh, recipes to uh, marinate. She comes up with some really good recipes. It works really good for me uh, on my jerky and some of my uh, uh, projects that I try to do as far as the way I try to prepare my meat and stuff. But she's got some really good uh, marinating uh, recipes. So we're going to be using one of hers today. So right now I've got uh, two pounds of meat in this bowl and what I'm going to do I'll just list everything that I that I'm putting in the bowl, and at the end of the uh, video, um, when everything gets ready, I'll make sure I post the ingredient, the amounts of the ingredients and stuff. But right now, I've got two pounds of uh, of uh, hamburger venison in the bowl, and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour her the sauces that she has mixed up here. Just pour it in the bowl. And um, what I'm going to do is just mix this up and get it ready to cut. And I'll come back with the cutting process and how I lay everything out on the dehydrator. But in this mix and stuff, what she's got is uh, brown sugar, uh, teriyaki, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, garlic salt, garlic powder, Tabasco and black powder. So that's everything that she mixed together in that. She mixed it up in this measuring cup. I've got it poured in a bowl now. I'm going to mix this up and I'll stick with me. I'm going to come back and we'll have everything. We'll, we're going to let this marinate overnight. And uh, then I'll tomorrow I'll be back and I'll cut everything up and show you how to layer everything on the dehydrator. So stick with me. Okay, I was looking at the ingredients on this again, and I meant to say black pepper, not on the last ingredient, not black powder. Let's not put black powder in there because you might take a bite out of your beef jerk and it might explode in your mouth. So black pepper, black pepper is the last ingredient. So I've got everything out of the, uh, has marinated overnight, and I'm, gonna put that on the cookie sheet and lay it out and slice off some sections and stuff and lay it in the trays. And uh, I'll show that process and stick with me and uh, we'll get this started and uh, hopefully have some really good jerky in about seven hours. So what I normally do after I get it out of the refrigerator after it's been uh, marinating all night, I take it and I uh, put a little bit on the cutting board and either I'll either uh, press it down real small or I'll make a little um, where it looks like a little meatloaf and I'll just slice little slices and just sort of pack that down with your uh, with your knife and stuff and then you can pick it up into your little slices like this. And after you do that, um, this is what it looks like after I lay it out on the dehydrator. And uh, pretty nice strips and stuff. You can do whatever size strips you want. Just uh, make sure they're not too thick so they'll cook through. Um, and make sure you spray each rack. I've got a I've got four four rack dehydrator and just make sure you spray each rack so they don't stick and uh, once we get this process done um, I'm gonna start the dehydrator put it on high uh, leave it on there for three and a half hours and then we're gonna come in here we're gonna swap the racks out and just turn them turn them over put a bottom on the top on the top on the bottom and just switch them out so everything cooks evenly then we'll cook it for three and a half more hours, which would be seven hours, and should be ready. So stick with me. 
Okay, we've got everything loaded in the dehydrator. You can see it's all uh, loaded up, five racks. We've got the power turned on high. We're gonna let that cook for uh, three and a half hours. And then we're gonna come in here and uh, rotate the racks. And one other thing, if you got some meat left over from uh, your jerky and all your racks are uh, full, what I normally do, I've made a couple, had enough meat to make a couple hamburger patties and uh, put those in the refrigerator and let them sit and have those later. They'll, they'll be real good, especially in the uh, seasoning that uh, we left this in overnight. Stuff will be real good. So now I'm back. The timer just went off. So um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take lid off of this and take all the racks off and what I'm going to do is uh, put those back on there all I did was shuffle the top to the bottom and uh, realign the racks and put those back on there and what i'm going to do now i'm going to set the timer on uh, three and a half more hours and uh at the end of that time we'll check it to see if everything's done it should be done by then and uh then we'll do a taste test okay the timer just went off and it's been a little over seven hours so i'm gonna test these babies out Oh yeah, perfect. Just the way I like them. Got a good texture to it. And like I said before, you can use whatever um, seasoning and to uh, marinate your uh, jerky in. It's just a, a choice, whatever flavor you like the best. But this recipe, I'll have a description with the amount and everything on the description at the end of the video so you can follow that. But stay with us in the future. Keep checking on the channel to Just a Small Town Hunt Club. Subscribe, share with your friends. And just like always, stay safe, happy hunting, and good eating.